today we'll be discussing that if i had to start uh, dsa from scratch so what will be my approach and how i'll be doing that let us start and learn dsa the right way first i will just stop wasting my time on random problems which are not important which are just making me feel like a loser i'll stop spending time on them and now let me give you a step wise procedure how you can start dsa from scratch the common trap which we fall for is when i remember i started first time i used to feel, feel like a mess because i burned countless hours just jumping on random topics which were not following any sequence as i told in my earlier videos then when you start with like topic wise you start with array then you start with strings and then you start with linked list each topic is connected somehow to the previous topic and every previous topic you will study that might be used in the next topic somehow uh, in the or like anyway like it can be used okay so i will skip just randomly switching topics switching problems just i used to feel like busy at that time i used to feel like yeah i will just you know two to three months i'll be mastering the essay i used to feel like that when i was just randomly jumping from one problem to another but after three months there was nothing in my hands i was not learning anything i was just feeling so dumb after that because i have spent two to three Three hours a day for almost three months or two months. I was doing that. You know, I was following that approach of randomly selecting a problem, then checking the topic, then writing the code, sometimes copying the code. This was the process I was following, and it was totally a no process. We will first set up our mind that learning the essay is a marathon. It's not a sprint. Like you can't do it in one or two days, but you will do it one day. that should be our mindset that even if i'm not good today at problem solving it doesn't mean that after 2 months 3 months i'll be the same guy or i will still be not the person who will be able to solve problems but we have to set a positive mindset that even if i am not good at dsa today i'll grind myself for next 2 to 3 months i will follow a resource particularly and i'll master dsa so a lot of people think that mastering dsa is just a one month game with 100 problems that's a myth it's tough in beginning you feel like giving up a hundred times like i used to feel the same i used to feel like that no i can't do it it's not my thing i just leave it and i will skip problems which you know i used to feel hard i used to skip them i used to do just easy easy problems and feel like yeah i'm doing it i'm doing it but that's the wrong strategy because when you stuck, when you are stuck in a problem and then if you try to solve it you spend time you spend hours in that problem you will never forget how you built up that logic and you will always be able to solve that problem and analyze that pattern next time if you came up with similar question in future so dsa is not about how many problems you solved but by doing how many problems you have built that problem solving skill in you next the setup for success it requires two things first you have to pick one language and commit to it i have already created how you can choose your language to you know start dsa in how you can select that particular language in which you want to do dsa second learn basic complexity so i will uh, definitely upload a video where you will know how we can analyze the time and space complexity plus also we have to learn the basic of the language we are selecting if you are starting with c++ first i would say pick a language then do the basics of that language and then learn uh, start building uh, like above that okay you should follow like that you should start with a language then commit yourself to that language don't feel like that switching between languages will make you learn faster it will just you know drop down your growth it will not allow you to learn at a higher pace but make you set back okay so select a language commit to it practice on it learn the basics of that language learn the basics of time and space complexity and then start dsa topic wise next our strategy will be how to actually learn now i'll be sharing some golden rules with you first you have to follow a structured path if you're new to dsa a beginner you should start uh, following a structured path what do you mean by structured path so even like if you're starting and picking up random topics daily they are doing array and exam doing strings and exam doing graphs so this is these are not even connected to each other and that will not make any flow so you should pick a resource also while picking a language is important second most important thing is picking a valuable resource and the next video i'll be preparing for that how many resources i used to learn dsa and top five resources which i felt was enough for you to learn dsa as a whole so we'll be discussing about that and you have to pick a resource and in that particular resource you have to follow follow it till end you can't drop it in between so choose your resource wisely because once you started you have to finish it now start with arrays then strings then linked list and so on if you pick a resource that will be in a structured format only and you will be solving problem with a structured format with structured learning and you will be you know uh, you will be able to try to connect with the previous topics as well 
now the hashtag rule you which you have to like never do never just read a solution and move on that habit of just copying and pasting solution will never improve your problem solving skills and i've seen people doing that and they just regret later because they just say that if we might have not done at that time i, I would have been very better or much better at dsa today so don't do that you can watch the, my video how you can solve a problem as well on my youtube channel and if you're liking this video do subscribe and you can leave in the comment section if you're facing any struggle i'll try to cover that in my next video now next is the right tool and focus stop holding tutorials and focus on patterns not count don't change your uh, you know resource multiple times focus on one resource complete it if you feel like there is something still left to learn find another resource for that and continue picking up resources once you finish a particular resource then only now um, if you are like that i have solved thousand problems on lead code and i'll be mastering dsa no it is not like that focus on patterns help, like help you or you i would say train your brain like that it is able to analyze the pattern hidden in that particular problem and if you see that pattern again if there's a binary search problem and you should be able to analyze by reading the question that yes it is binary search problem and i can apply your binary search and that's how you train your brain to analyze pattern so these two things are very important making it stick and staying consistent that's the you know you can say mantra for success is to be consistent if you're doing today you have to do it tomorrow also and similarly you have to do it every day if you put your efforts every day surely you will uh, get success one day that's the you know mantra for everything for every field even if you are in technical non technical army government exams everything you have to be consistent keep a mistake notebook where you can write the mistakes you have done or you know the approach you have uh, given for this particular problem let's say you have write, written a rough algorithm just note it down like how you think about that what was the you know optimized version how you came up with the brute force just make a notebook and revise that once a week which will help you revise the pattern everything will go in a flow you will be able to solve problems on your own if you follow this guide avoid long breaks don't you know, never have long breaks if you have started dsa continue it every day don't skip in between because if even if you skip a day that will make you feel like an idiot the very next day so don't skip in between be consistent try to solve problems every day first start with a basic language then picking up the basic of that particular language starting with time and space complexity next moving moving on to solving problems finding a resource which is in a structured format and that's how you can you know do ds in a right way and start solving problems in a right way six so this is mental game for the first few months you're going to feel like you're failing you will get stuck you will doubt yourself and this is totally normal this happens with every person who is just starting in any field okay they is in starting feel like dumb only when i started my internship at google the first few weeks i was also feeling dumb seeing other people you know or doing so well or uh, portraying themselves as technical leaders fellow uh, googlers only but I feel I used to feel like they are so good and in that in their particular field I used to feel like dumb. But with time, I realized that I am in my initial phase and I have to focus on my learning rather than you know just blaming myself that I am dumb. I don't know anything. You have to uh, make yourself feel positive all the time. Every de developer goes through this and this is very normal. The the next time you are stuck, remember this is the part of pro process and this is where the learning happens. because this is the starting point if you just leave today you will never be able to do it again in future also so make a habit be consistent and don't let your mind uh, put you back instead give a positive you know thoughts to your mind that yes i'm trying today not able to solve today but will be able to solve that problem one day by on my own now if you see this dsa blueprint what we have to do is you have to pick one language learn the basic complexity follow a structured path focus on patterns rather than problems actively reinforce your mind actively revise and revisit the concepts use minimal resources and complete those resources don't leave any resources in between you have to revise weekly practice daily and embrace the struggle you are going through if you make your mind feel like that yes i am grinding myself every day and one day i'll be good at dsa you can do it just follow particular resource don't skip in between and you will be genius one day so this is so all i wanted to discuss in this video i wanted to share what i have learned so far so that it can help uh, the, the people who are just starting or trying to find perfect dsa guide so i hope this video helps you if it is helpful to you do share it with your friends who are preparing for the same thing and like uh, like this video share it with your friends also subscribe to my channel comment down if you face any challenge i'll try to cover that in my next video thanks for watching I will see you in the next video till then keep learning keep coding bye bye